This is Candace with MySpockLife.com. Thank you for joining our Good Book series. Today's Good Book is The Battle for Room 314 by Ed Bolin. Ed Bolin was a successful fundraiser for a nonprofit organization in the Upper West Side of New York when he decided he wanted a career change. The organization for which he worked provided funding for underprivileged young people to attend to attend private and boarding schools so that their lives might be changed educationally and that they might go on to enter prestigious colleges and Ivy League universities and become influential members of society. He decided he wanted to become a teacher so that he could be at the hands-on, so he could be someone who is hands-on with making changes in the lives of young people. He wrote about his first and only year teaching at a progressive high school in New York City. It was fraught with all of the difficulties teachers face when teaching underprivileged, impoverished inner city students. He was cursed out, he was attacked, he was ignored, he did not seem to make much headway at all with his teaching. What I like about the book is that it does share some real stories of teaching in inner city schools. Ed Bolin did face many difficulties, and while he came to the conclusion that he could better serve these children in his former role at his former job at the end of the school year, he still championed their success and followed their progress through social media and sometimes personal contact so that he was able to see where these young people would arrive in their life or arrived in their lives. Now, the one thing that I disagree with in his conclusion, it seemed to be that for him, because he was quite bourgeois and lived and worked with upper, upper class people, it seemed to me that his definition of success was graduating high school, entering a good four-year university, and becoming a professional. Now, that is some people's idea of success, but I don't agree that this is the only way to measure success, especially for many of these students that he worked with. He gave the example that one of his students was living happily and contentedly in the South working at a Walmart. That's some people's idea of success. And if that makes the young man happy, I don't see how I can look down on what he has achieved. Now, what I liked about the book also was that not only did Ed tell of his highs and his lows and his failures, and he presented the failure of the educational system in helping underprivileged young people, he also offered solutions. And I find it is very important that if we criticize a system, that we can also offer solutions. Whether these solutions will ever be put into place and whether the gap between the rich and the poor will ever shrink, that I don't know. But I feel that it is something that we can work towards and it will be a worthy cause. This is an excellent book, especially for people who wonder what's wrong with those people and why can't they get it together. It gives insight into 
what's going on in the lives of those rowdy inner city children that you may see, the impoverished children that you may see as you go about your life. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe.